that, we're happy to welcome Alsinova and CEO Christina Torsgård. Welcome, Christina. Thank you very much. So, and uh, here we have the forward-looking statements. I will start to say, imagine if there was a vaccine against Alzheimer's disease. That's what gets me really passionate about this and dedicated to deliver uh, an effective uh, treatment against Alzheimer's disease. So Alzinova is developing the first oligomer specific vaccine. Um, and we are the only one in the world doing this. Uh, Alzinova is a Swedish biopharma company that is based in Gothenburg and uh, the research comes from uh, Gothenburg University. We have a uh, focus on the Alzheimer disease where it's a huge unmet medical need. We have an innovative science and propriety that we are very proud of and that enabled us to um, develop disease modifying treatments. We, have, uh, we are listed on First North, had a market cap around 40 million sec and in March we had cash about 27 million sec. And we are right about to start a, a right issue that I will also talk a little bit about. So Alzheimer's disease is a progressive debilitating disease with a huge unmet medical need. I'm sure that many of you might know someone or have uh, known someone that had Alzheimer's disease and it's a terrible disease. It's affect uh, the person, it, uh, the person gets a bad memory, uh, affected uh, behavior, and then eventually the patient will die in this terrible disease. It's a very common disease, one of the most common diseases in the world. And today it's about 55 million that have dementia, where Alzheimer's disease is the most common of these. This is a disease that uh, impacts not only the patient, it impacts also the family and relatives. So it's a huge uh, social impact and has a, a health economic burden. So annually, this, uh, the dementia costs about 1.3 trillion US and dollar, and that's a lot. And that's why we would like to, to make a difference here and develop a disease modifying treatment. Uh, today, there are no disease modifying treatment available and no really effective treatment at all. Today, patients are treated with um, symptom um, treatments that, that are affecting the symptoms. And um, we can see here that uh, those symptom treatments, they are today have a market around six billion US dollar. But uh, we know also that if we can develop an effective treatment, a disease modifying treatment, the market would be worth about 13 billion US dollar in 2028. And there is enormous market potential here. And already now it's clear that uh, in 2026, it's predicted that two out of seven um, uh, drugs will be blockbusters in this anti-Alzheimer disease drugs. So there is a market growth that is going to be driven by introducing those um, disease uh, modifying treatments. So on this slide, I will sh show you a little bit about why we believe that we can be best in class and also why we have a very strong position. So on this slide, we see on the left side here that's the first, um, oligo, uh, the first monoclonal uh, antibodies and vaccines that were developed. And they were very uh, non-specific. So they uh, targeted both amyloid beta 40 and 42, which is spread all over the body. And these uh, compounds, these drug candidates, they couldn't show any clinical benefit at all, but a number of side effects. The next generation, which is more selective, uh, they are working against the aggregated force of amyloid beta in the brain. And as you can see here, they are affecting both the toxic form and the, uh, that are called oligomers, and also the insoluble fibrils that are not that benign, or, or they are benign, I would say, uh, called fibrils. And <clears throat> they have been, they are currently in development. Uh, one is already registered, which is aducanumab. And they have shown signs of clinical benefits. Uh, however, they show some side effects also. 
However, you can clearly see here that here is a um, drug candidate that are targeting really what's behind the, the, the cause of the disease, and that's the oligomeric forms of amyloid beta. And that's our drug. So that's why we believe that we can have best in class potential. I will talk a little bit more about the, our um, uh, technology. And um, to take that, uh, I would like also to start with uh, what is believed to be the cause of the disease. And uh, today, my, we, they are very, it's a, an agreement about that it's amyloid beta, which is a, a peptide, a part of a protein that starts to clump together. So it's um, the amyloid beta 42 that is the sort of the nasty one here. And it starts to aggregate um, and then it forms a plaque, which is very uh, typical for Alzheimer's disease. <clears throat> this is a sort of a benign um, uh, sort of, of aggregation. There is another form when they start to lump together here that is called uh, oligomers, uh, and these are very toxic as, as you can see. And these destroy uh, the, the brain cells and the brain in patients. And this is something that starts long before patients get their symptoms. So with our technology, we can really target what is behind the disease and, and causing the disease, the oligomers here. So we are developing two different oligomers specific products. And with a highly specified uh, disease modifying ther therapeutics, um, we think that we can target these oligomers that are uh, causing the disease. And this uh, gives also the opportunity to really become an effective treatment that is well tolerated um, and that can stop and, and, and also maybe prevent Alzheimer's disease in the future. And as I said, we have the best in class potential here. So these are the two candidates that we are currently developing at Alzenova. So on the left side here, you can see the therapeutic vaccine. And there are a number of advantages with the vaccine. Uh, a vaccine, you will get it um, uh, intramuscular and the body will generate its own antibodies. That's convenient and it will also be a long acting treatment. Um, you will get this a couple of shots and then you can go to the primary care and get your uh, booster doses, likely every third or every six months. And that should be compared to the current treatments that are in development, which is um, infusion that you need to take in the hospital and you need to go there probably every second week. Um, this is also very convenient for patients when you go to the primary care and get your, your dose. Uh, and this makes it probably um, possible then to make a, a disease modifying treatment that can be preventive and that can be used for a larger patient po po population. Uh, on the right side here, we have our monoclonal antibody that we are currently also developing. And the advantage with the monoclonal antibody here is that this can, you can really know exactly how much antibody you get into the body. Uh, if you compare this antibody with the current antibodies developed and uh, other an amyloid beta antibodies, uh, this can be given in much lower doses as this is so specifically targeting the oligomers. So this is Alcinova's product pipeline. And here we can offer uh, complementary ways of treating Alzheimer's disease. We have both the therapeutic vaccine um, 101 that we have currently in, in clinical phase. Uh, performing a study in patients. And then we have the monoclonal antibody that we are developing in preclinical and going to be ready for phase one studies later on. And we also are exploring new innovative discovery projects with this new te technology that we have. So uh, of, for the therapeutic vaccine, ALZ101, we do have very strong data supporting taking this uh, candidate into clinical development where we already are, and uh, but also into next step, phase two. So we have a comprehensive preclinical package where we have run both uh, non-toxicology, um, uh, non-clinical safety and toxicology studies in two different animals, and it's very safe and tolerated. We have performed efficacy studies to show that there is a good response here in three different animal models or, or an Alzheimer models, I should say. 
Uh, we also have a robust and validated process for manufacturing the peptide, which is great to have now when we are in clinical. So I will just briefly go through the clinical study that we have ongoing. So this is a clinical study, the first in, in human that we are performing together with Clinical Research Service Turku. Uh, and uh, this is a unit in Finland. Uh, they are very experienced in this field, so they have run similar studies in the past. So this study will include 26 patients with an early Alzheimer's disease and these patients will be uh, randomized so they will be divided in three different groups. One group with a low dose and one group with a high dose of the vaccine and then a control group. Uh, so uh, during a 20 week period they will get four different, uh, they will get four doses uh, and then we will follow them for 48 weeks. So the, the primary endpoint or the purpose with this study is really to show that it's safe and well tolerated. But we're also going to look into the immune response and see um, how much antibodies is generated by the, the different doses. And then we're also going to do uh, a number of exploratory analysis and look into biomarkers. You're probably aware of that um, currently there is a a lot of research around biomarkers so you can in the future go to pro probably to your healthcare system to the primary care and get an analysis and there already see if you have Alzheimer's disease and we are working together with a famous group in, in Gothenburg um, at the neurochemistry lab uh, Henrik Setteberg and Kam Blenov um, so we are going to analyze these data together with them and we also have cognition tests in this study of course. Just a few words about our unique um, antibody. So the 201 is a monoclonal antibody that is very different compared to other known antibodies as it's binding in very differently. Uh, and that makes it uh, better, more uh, specific. We can have lower doses. and uh, Most likely we will have a better effect and less side effects. And we can see this uh, antibody be developed as a standalone dis disease modifying treatment but we can also see it in a com combination and complement to the vaccine 101 in patients that need a little bit higher response or higher doses of antibody this, this patients that have depleted immune system we can also see in the long run that it might be good combination with other plaque targeting monoclonal antibodies those that are developed right now so where are we right now uh, with our two uh, compounds? Yeah, we focus on three different areas. It's uh, the recruitment of the phase 1b study that is uh, most important for us right now. We are also preparing for phase 2. So patients in the phase 1b study will be offered to continue in a long term study. So we are planning for that. We are also optimizing the manufacturing process and are going to, to manufacture both the, the substance and the technical material for phase two. Uh, we are also preparing and on doing preclinical efficacy studies to different, uh, show differentiation versus other uh, uh, in the, the field. And then of course, as always, it's so important that we work s specifically on the IP and this, uh, the the pattern situation there, so we can strengthen and broaden the patterns. For the monoclonal antibody, we have just started a cell line um, development now that we are going to have a stab stable uh, manufacturing process there if for a larger scale. And then we are going to start also preclinical activities, formulation development and IP. So very briefly about our business model. It's to develop, document, prepare and partner. So we use our unique technology and develop um, um, disease modifying treatments and candidates there. We take those candidates and bring them into clinic and document safety and tolerability in patients there, in Alzheimer patients. And then in parallel we are preparing the candidates so they are going to be ready for phase two. Uh, at the time when we get the data from the phase 1b study. And we know that this is a very uh, attractive way of developing uh, these candidates uh, because the partner Big Pharma will be very easily pick up and they can bring the, the compound further in, into phase 2. 
So this is uh, my experience management team. You can see we have um, our, the, the, the founder of the company, Anders Sandberg, who has been along with the company all the time. And then we have a number of really key uh, and, and good uh, experience ma management team here. So in total, we have 170 years which is of experience, which is great for a small company. So we have a number of um, collaborations that you can see on this slide here uh, with partners. And we also have collaborations with the um, university also in different uh, countries. So I would like to summarize that our portfolio um, that really offers a potential breakthrough in Alzheimer's disease, uh, where it's a huge unmet medical need. So that we have delivered the first goal, which was to start the first clinical trial on an oligomer specific um, uh, therapeutic vaccine. Uh, next goal, the midterm goal, is to have uh, uh, the therapeutic vaccine 101 ready for phase two. Uh, and that's going to happen second half of 2023. Uh, it's for the monoclonal antibody to prepare to get into clinical phase. Uh, we haven't decided uh, or communicated when that's going to happen. But long term, it's so important to provide uh, and develop an effective treatment that can really halt, or stop and prevent Alzheimer's disease. And that can make a difference for all these patients that are suffering. So right now we have an ongoing rights issue where we are uh, going to finance the development of 101 and 201. And, um, This is the timetable for um, the right issue. So we um, just uh, on the 25th, we have the record date for obtaining right, uh, or the unit's rights uh, from uh, the 30th till the 80th, 8th, uh, which is right now then. We are uh, trading units on the first north growth market. And we have an ongoing subscription period now to the 13th of June. And on the 15th, we hope to be able to, to communicate about the outcome of the right issue. So by that, I would like to thank you for listening. And I hope you are interested in Alcinova and see that this could really make a, a difference for patients. So uh, I hope that you would like to invest in this company and to see this is a good way of, of fighting against Alzheimer's disease. Thank you, Christina. Like you mentioned, there are, of course, um, lots of competitors out there. But I was wondering if you could just briefly, in terms of clinical profile, describe how your technology differs from, from your competitors. Yes, so there are a number of, of competitors. Or I would not say competitors, really, because the, I think they are paving the way for us. So um, the amyloid beta concept, uh, they have shown uh, and proven that they can do a, a difference here. They have a clinical effect, uh, even though that they have some, some side effects. And if we have taken this a step further, so we are building on the amyloid beta concept here, but we have developed a unique technology that uh, the candidates, they are targeting what is really, really the toxic form of the amyloid beta, and they are called oligomers. So that's really the di difference here. I was also wondering in terms of when you would start these kind of treatments or when you would start the vaccine, are you looking at patients who are then already diagnosed or could you start with people who are risk group somehow before they even get diagnosed? Yeah, um, as it's today, uh, we are targeting the, the mild uh, um, Alzheimer's di disease patients um, and that's what, what the regulatory are, are requesting. But I can see in the future um, that um, you know, the, the biomarkers, they are under development and hopefully you can already in primary care diagnose on biomarkers. And then I can see that a vaccine would really be very useful to start early on uh, in these patients. Well, thank you so much, Christina, for your presentation. Thank you for having me here.